Well, good morning and welcome to This Week at Ridge. I am Pastor Jared. And I am Beth Ann. And we are so glad to be with you at the start of a new week on what today is a beautiful Monday and tomorrow might be like a snow globe and then Thanksgiving back up to 50 degrees. So here we are, the end of November and all that that entails. Well, that's just <laughs> typical up here in Munster. Here we are. I, what happens? Well, and we were just saying, like, I can't believe it's already the end of November. I don't know where that month went. Oh my gosh. It's just kind of, poof, it was over. Just, I mean, it literally just felt like Halloween was like a week or so ago. I know. Here we are. So we hope that you're doing well and we hope that you are um, staying healthy and staying safe, especially with the holidays. And some of us might be gathering, others maybe keeping it more in house, but all of us are being a bit of a, a modified, um, you know, holiday season this year. So, so we just hope that you're doing well. Uh, we miss you and we are glad to be with you virtually as well as in person. So we want to let you know some of the things that are happening this week, as well as tipping the hand on some really special stuff coming up in December. So we're looking forward to share with you to kick things off. Tomorrow, uh, the uh, Women's Bible Study will meet here in the Fellowship Hall at 10 a.m. So if you'd like to come and visit and um, learn and study the scriptures with some other women, tomorrow, Tuesday, 10 a.m., you're welcome to join. And then um, at 7 p.m., my Bible study is going to meet on Tuesday this week instead of our normal Wednesdays, just so we can accommodate people's um, holiday schedules and making this few changes there. Um, we're wrapping up our current series and then next week we're starting a new series about Christmas carols. So I hope that you'll join us Wednesday 7 p.m. via Zoom starting next week for a four week study on Christmas carols and the Bible. I'm excited selfishly to revisit these Christmas did, did stories. Did you need me to sing those carols for you? We're gonna pre-record. Oh no, we, we wanna keep her, we wanna keep the people coming oh. to the Bible study. Yes. So <laughs> we'll, uh, I could sing, look at, I could sing Go Town on the Mountain That's right great. now. Dan, Perfect. cued it up. Good Lord, look cue. at those words right there for Joy Town in the World. Speaking of, if you would like to be part of a very special Christmas cantata, but it's one song, it's a new thing we're trying this year because everything's new and different. But we'd love for you to let us know, and Dan Zeli will get you scheduled to come and sing and be part of this like kind of Ridge Family Christmas sing along. I, I don't, don't know think what. that they're gonna ask me to sing. <laughs> we'll oh. see how it goes. So, That's okay. I don't. I, I don't need. To we sing. can tune your. We can tune, turn your voice down though. You I can could just, just have a smiling face. Yes. I could lip sync. Exactly. It looks like you're there. Okay. I got okay. It. So um, that's Tuesday. Wednesday, uh, the men's Bible study will meet at 5:30 in the parlor, and then Thursday morning men's Bible study will not meet because it's Thanksgiving. Um, I think the last thing I have is that next Sunday kicks off Advent, and so we're excited to begin that journey toward Christmas as we look forward to the birth of Jesus. Um, Bethan, before I hand it over to you, I was just thinking um, before we came to record this about that verse in John that talks about a light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. Mm -hmm. And I love that verse. It's especially right now, I just am kind of clinging to that truth. Uh, a light shines in the darkness and no matter how dark it is, uh, you know, the darkness can't overcome it. My last story, cause I'm in the story mood. You've been to Mammoth Cave, right? With your family? Nope, that was Karen. Oh, that was Karen, that's right. Well, we got to go when I was in high school or something. Mm -hmm. And there's this memorable experience everyone talks about when you go deep down in the cave, it gets a lot colder, but it also gets incredibly dark. And at one point they shut off all the lights and it's the blackest black I've ever seen in my life. But then the tour guide lights a match and the whole room is lit up. I thought, man, all it takes sometimes is just a little tiny light mm -hmm. to shine and, and, and change change everything. So anyways, there's a metaphor or a, a Jesus analogy in there, but I'm going to hand it off back to you. Well, that's, you we know got some cool stuff coming up. The really cool thing is, is that I'm just going to start with this new thing that I'm super excited about because it is about lights in the darkness. And we uh, have been talking about doing something special um, together as a congregation. And you broke your microphone again. It's a good thing it's not his turn anymore because he just broke his microphone <laughs> again. 
So we have come up with this really cool, fun new event for the entire congregation, and it is called Share the Light of Jesus. And it just so happens that we are going to be decorating Christmas trees outside on December 13th. Now there's lots of bits and pieces of it that are gonna be coming, but the first thing I want you to do is to check your calendars, go to them, not at this moment, but in a little bit. Find December 13th and write Christmas church event from 12 to three. Block that out today because you are gonna want to come to church and enjoy an afternoon of decorating Christmas trees outside with lights and garland. And then my husband and Scott Iverson are going to be preparing chili and soup yes! um, to enjoy after you finish helping to decorate some trees outside. And the cool thing about these trees is that we will plug them in to the timer that we have on our light that's out in front of the church parking lot. So in the evenings, about 4 or 4.15, if you drive down the breezeway, past the breezeway of the church, there are going to be beautiful trees lit up right in front of our church that is sharing the light of Jesus, not only inside, but this, these lights are going to be outside. And I am super excited. There is going to be a video and more information and some emails coming out about some donations that you can make. But for today, I just want you to go and check your calendar and block off sometime between 12 and 3 on December 13th for a fun all church congregation event. And I am super, super excited. It's going to be That's awesome. a Sunday. It is Sunday. And it's actually the Sunday after you get to see the epic Christmas movie. Let me tell you, we recorded that movie this weekend. The outtakes alone were uh, enough to uh, <laughs> make you laugh. Anxious but the, to watch that. <laughs> the big kids, the little kids, everybody came together uh, and it was crazy and chaotic and fun and so cool. It was so it was a long day, but it was so much fun and we did so many great things and I can't wait to see it all come together. Yeah. And it will, and that will air on December 13th. The only other things I have is there is no youth group on Sunday because that is Thanksgiving weekend. And we are taking that time to spend with families and decorate for Christmas and all of those things. Mm. Um, wreath pickup went great yesterday. Everybody who ordered came and picked up their wreaths. So thank you very much for that. And we only have two wreaths left and um, hopefully there's a magic picture right here yeah. that shows you which wreath we have left. It's called the wintergreen wreath. It has different shades of green uh, ribbons and pine cones and some ornaments on it. It's a beautiful wreath. We have two of those left that we need to sell. If you didn't buy a wreath and you would like to, contact the office or contact me personally and we can set that up so that you can order that. And Sunday School is taking their shift. We finished the emojis on Sunday and we made some clapping hands. <laughs> yeah. Those were... It was really cute. I'm sure it's really loud at your house. It was. We, but that's okay. Kate had to give a hard stop to uh, the plastic ones. Like, enough. <laughs> it's Sorry. bedtime. Sorry, Kate. <laughs> um, but we are taking a shift and we are moving into Advent as well. And we are going to be creating um, family Advent boxes this week to be passed out. And families are going to get to enjoy doing some really cool... Um, fun activities and crafts and just so much stuff that's going to be coming home for them this week. And we're going to start that on Sunday, including this book. Everybody gets this book. Oh, good. It's an awesome book. There's lots of fun things that families will be able to do that. Um, there's some things in the box that are from the book, but then there's lots of other things that families can read through and go, oh, let's do this. Or yeah. just something special. Because, yeah. you know, if you think about it, Christmas this year is really, really different. And I think during this time where we've spent a lot of time together as families, I think we're, I think people are starting to like that. And I think they're starting to realize that it's not about the gift that's under the tree. It's the process of getting to Christmas itself. And I think this book and, and the new boxes that we're doing and the way we're doing things differently is really, um, it's really the focus of Christmas. And, and a lot of us are, 
disappointed that we have to do things differently, but I think in the grand scheme of it all, it's exactly how we're supposed to do things. And I'm super excited to, to do things to do things in a new way this year. Yes, yes. Do things in a new way and, uh, you know, and it is thanks, the week of Thanksgiving. So, you know, when you were sharing, it just reminded me of, again, how much we have to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. And as we, you know, wind down here on this week at Ridge, I, I just want to let you know how thankful we are for you how thankful we are for our church family, how thankful we are to see you, how thankful we are for your support, how thankful we are for such a good church. Man, I'm just, I'm just, my heart's been so warm to be part of this Ridge family. So until next week, um, I've, I'm Pastor Jared. I'm still Beth Ann. <laughs> and we still love you and, and, and God loves you too. So be blessed and be grateful and, uh, and yeah, keep getting involved more and more because there's some really fun stuff coming, especially Sunday, December 13th 12 from to 12 to 3. <laughs> mark your calendars. Just mark your calendars and watch for more information. <laughs> That's right. Have a great week. See, See you ya. later. Bye.